Hello my people, hope you're doing okay. Welcome to Hanimi's World. Welcome to the channel that inspires you to do agribusiness, guys. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about why farms collapse easily. So guys, as you can see, we are in a rainy season. The rains have begun. That is our maize of last season. We finished removing the maize and we are going to take those those maize what? Those maize branches, the dry ones, we are going to cut them off and put them in the banana garden. Then we are preparing the gardens. We are somehow late because our rains are not so easy to know. They can begin, then they spend like a full month without coming. So we have to be so sure before we plant so guys this is our chicken coop and the exercising area as you can see it is now becoming so bushy this is the exercising area it's becoming so bushy it has been long i've been not i've been not vlogging because of very many things happening kids coming back from school but i'm giving you a quick update on my farm so the other Part is our pineapple garden this is our chicken coop but unfortunately the chicken are not there this is once our chicken coop guys look at it we have no hands guys you see so we sold off all the eh, we sold off most of the hands then others got sick we, we had an epidemic here most of the hens got sick, they got some mixed infection and they all died. So this brought something into my mind to talk about why most farmers collapse within their first years of doing business. So one of the reasons I want to talk about is, is not planning financially, guys. So like for example, these hens we had a we had an epidemic here and the hens died if you don't have that money that can really revive your farm you will end up collapsing that is the very very most important factor so that's why here at Hanimi's world even if we say that you must stay at your farm we also emphasize at least if it is a couple one stays at the farm to manage the farm activities and another goes out there to look for money just in case there is some unexpected what just in case there is some unexpected incidents you always have that company to rule you out hmm? sorry about that my worker Early this year lost the mother now he was telling me that he has lost also the dad so guys i was as, as i was saying is we you have to be with money that will always rule out in terms of disaster like it or not farming you are dealing with animals animals have lives anytime death can come in now if death comes in and and you lose all your animals you must have that money to always help and bail you out to revive the farm so that the farm can really revive again so that the farm can always keep on moving so guys farming is not something so so cheap farming is a very expensive venture that's why we always tell you to always begin small as you learn so when you are learning you make mistakes when you make mistakes you make losses and when you make losses you have to be with that money that has to revive you otherwise you will collapse within your first year or within your second year of doing farming that is one of the things that most of the people don't tell you you have to be with that money emergency fund let me say that emergency fund guys so another point is all about management most farms die off because of management not only farms but i've realized here in africa most especially in my country it is very hard to get good managers it is very hard to get trustworthy workers so if you're not there like if you're not there like on hands-on in your projects it is it becomes more harder so you have to be there so that these 
your farming activities go on. If you are not there, you get issues of theft. Even when you are there, people steal, but at least you reduce that gap. You get issues of theft. These Africans will steal you to, to the point of zero. They cut the trees that they are, they are sitting on. They don't want to know. They want easy money, guys. So that is a very important point. I've always talked about management. I think you are even tired of listening to it, but it is a fact. Management is the very important factor because you can get the good breeds. Those ones are easily to get if you have your money. You can always get good nutrition. You can always plant the good grasses with all the nutrition because you already know you will plant them and they will grow. But who will manage these animals for you is another important factor. Who will work on your farm is a very important factor. These workers can sabotage you and you will hate farming because of the workers. You will close your farm because of the workers. I've seen very many incidences that people really get fed up of farming. They get frustrated of farming because of the workers they do. They chase these ones, they bring others, the, the others they bring are so worse than the people they've what they've taken away but anyway this video was all about i was giving you an example of what is happening on my farm uh how we lost our hands and how we are moving on right now so that point of the loss of our poultry of our hands gave me something to learn that if you are in farming business and you think the profits that you are getting from the farming business alone, if you are starting off, will help you to 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 what to run the farm only those profits you are lying yourselves. After you've calculated all the capital that you need, the money you need to start your farming business, then put in mind an emergence fund. Oh, let let there be another person, all your your all your spouse or even yourself even if you're managing here have some aside income so that if something has emerged here on the farm you are able to get some money and add into farming there you will have sustainable farming business that is one of the factors. other factors i've been talking about them there are very many but i wanted to emphasize that depending on my experience here on the farm and, and unfortunately most of the farming most of the farmers won't let you know this they won't let you know that the venture you are going in is expensive they won't let you know that you must have uh, an emergency fund you must have that money though that's why people make farming to be a side income but for me i believe farming must be a real business guys the other ones let them be side incomes but you must take farming as a real serious business so that was a point to make. And another thing is all about passion. If you don't have passion in farming, don't begin. Because passion will help you to go through even hard times. That you would, when you feel like giving up, you don't give up because you have that passion. Yes, passion is very important in farming business. So guys, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell for more videos. I'm going to make videos about poultry. We are planning to bring turkeys. We are planning to bring ducks. We are planning to bring, we, we booked more hens and we are planning also to continue with goat farming. So all those things are coming up and right now we are preparing the gardens for those ones who love crops. This is the, also the best channel to watch. So and those ones who want to know how you can exist in the village as you're supervising your farming activities this is also a channel to watch so remember to subscribe down there if you're interested in such videos thank you for watching bye bye